Hey friends, I'm a little sick right now. I do apologize for my nasal voice. But today, I want to talk a little bit about diet culture. And I've done this a little bit, but it's so pervasive. Why don't I be pervasive with how I handle it? That doesn't make sense. But I mean, I'm going to talk about it a lot because it's being talked a lot about and I can't even. Okay, so I went to the coffee shop the other day and they sold books there too. And like, so many of the books were about diets and it, I just didn't understand them. And then there was another thing where my friend came up to me and was like, Hey, I kind of want to start a diet. Do you have any tips? And I was like, bro, you're asking an anorexic? Like, what are you doing? You know I'm biased against them. And he was like, yeah, well, I had this 1,000 calorie diet in the summer and I lost so much weight, but then I gained it back and then some. And I was like... Come on, bro, we can we can be smart about this. Why? Because your metabolism was crap because you didn't get the calories that you needed. That's my point, the diets don't work, and yet the diet industry is billions of dollars just, you know, to not, for, like, your body. Like, it knows what it's doing. It's, it knows what it's doing. See, I talked a little bit about internal versus external a little bit in my last video when I was saying how it's really hard with eating disorders and recovering from them because you have to get out of the internal because the internal is rotten. It's like, it's just totally controlled by this eating disorder that's telling you what to do and how to feel and what to think and you're getting overrided. Like, your, your instincts, your basic instincts are totally overrided by this monster. I told you to kind of go into the external, to go into science. The problem is when we get into science or a pseudoscience, like, um, sometimes it's do work. It's really hard because you hear about these results and it's like, well, it works for them, why can't it work for me? But then on the other side, you cannot find one diet that is not disputed by anybody. If, if, you're, if you go to the keto community, they'll just say that people who are, you know, high carb, low fat, are idiots. And if you go to that section, they'll say keto people are, now they're the real idiots. And it's, it's real hard. And then you go to an anorexic blog and they're like, eating is for idiots. <laughs> and you don't know where to go. You know what I like. I like going internally. But doing it with a healthy mindset. And at first, if you're struggling with an eating disorder, you are not going to be internally correct. You are not going to be normal in your hunger signals, let alone if you even have them, you know? So you might be eating so freaking much, or you'll feel the need to not eat at all, and then you'll like, okay, well, if I eat too freaking much, then I'm going to get binge eating disorder. But if I eat too little, I just want to eat too little, so therefore I should because my body's telling me not to do that. And that's that's not correct. You can't you kinda you kinda messed up a little friend. You kinda ate too little or tortured your body too much and it needs to repair, okay friend? So yeah. You you can't go you can't dive into recovery thinking, Yes, I will have the basic meal plan of a, you know, basic pleb. <laughs> you can't do that. You have to recover first by eating uncomfortably. Which is so, oh, this is, Sarah, you're giving me all twisty advice. Well, I knew. And it's really freaking hard to do this, to do this recovery, when the diet culture is around you and spewing out of the mouth of, you know, people. Like Crazy Aunt Joan at Thanksgiving telling you that you shouldn't be eating so much that boys don't like girls who are chunky. And it's like Aunt Joan. Aunt Joan. Aunt Joan. Here's the thing, diet culture does not know you. I don't know you, you know? Your eating disorder don't know you, it just doesn't care. It's like a virus, you know? It's, it's my cult, you know? I'm not meaning to sound like a nasal, nasal, nasal. I'm just sounding like that because it's taking over me. And you are not wanting to vomit or kill yourself on the treadmill or not eat for two days you're doing it because there's a virus of sorts. And let me tell you something. People don't want to be on keto. People don't want to be on a, a high carb, low fat diet. People want the peanut butter and people want the cinnamon rolls in, in moderation. But moderation is, moderation is ambiguous for us. 
I don't know what this point of the point of this video is. It's kind of relating to people who are going to say dumb things. Stupid tips that people recovering are going to give you when you're recovering or critiquing about your recovery. Like, oh, you're gaining weight awfully fast. Like, yeah, um, that's the point, friend. And then people who just give you a book or, ugh. And also holidays, because holidays are rough. And if I might make a holiday video special if you want that. But yeah. So this is disconjointed. I'm going to blame my cold for that. <laughs> not me, because of course not. Um, but I hope this has helped. I I'm here to give you encouragement. Um, even though that your journey into recovery might be a little odd looking. It might be discouraging. It will be discouraging. It might be embarrassing all of these things and it goes counter diet culture you're you're getting your own you're, you're getting in sync with your body here this is the point of why I recovered this is because I can eat normally you know there's some days where I eat a crap ton and there are some days where I don't eat a crap ton I eat less than I, I I'm like surprised but that's the way hunger works you're hungrier on some days and less hungry on others and you'll get to that point. Don't expect you to be at that point right at the beginning. The beginning is going to be rough. The beginning, you're not going to have any tips from your body because your body is just overridden by this disorder. It's kind of making your voice nasally and your hunger signals can't get through, you know? So, all of these diets are not for you. All of these diets are for people that don't have an eating disorder that gets to you when you have a caloric de deficit. Keep strong, my friends. I know it's hard, but you got this. And I will talk to you later. Bye.